is Ali Elham. I'm professor of aircraft design in the Institute of Aircraft Design and Lightweight Structure at TU Braunschweig. The focus of my research and my team research is to develop new methodologies and tools to support the design of the next generation of the passenger aircraft. In the project Sustainable and Energy Efficient Aviation, we are trying to fulfill the requirements for the next generation of the passenger aircraft which should be 50 to 70 percent better than the current aircraft. And if you look at the current passenger aircraft, they all look the same. They have a fuselage, wing, and a tail, and the difference between different aircraft are very minor. They're just a minor modification. And with this minor modification, the maximum improvement we can gain is just a few percent. But now we want to make an aircraft which is 70 percent better, so almost all the scientists around the world, they, are, they agree that the new generation of the aircraft should look different. So if you want to gain different improvement, we need to design a different aircraft. And if you want to design an advanced and different aircraft, we need an advanced and different design methodology. And to my opinion, this new design methodology is the so-called multidisciplinary design optimization. So the focus of my work and my teamwork is to develop advanced multidisciplinary design optimization methods and tools to design the next generation of the passenger aircraft. Multidisciplinary design optimization, or in short MDO, is a way to find the optimum solution of a problem which has more than one discipline. For example, if you want to design an aircraft, there are different aspects. So we have aerodynamics of the aircraft, we have flight performance, we have the propulsion, we have the structure of the aircraft. And the problem is if we optimize the aircraft for one of these disciplines, it may not perform the best for the other. So the best aircraft design for aerodynamics may not have the best structure or the best structure solution may not be the best for aerodynamics. So the goal of MDO is to use numerical optimization techniques and combine it with the high fidelity simulation of different disciplines of the aircraft to find the optimum solution of the design when we combine all the disciplines together. The, the answer to my opinion is that if you want to find the optimum configuration of the aircraft, in mathematics the difference in configuration can be translated into the difference in topology. So a different configuration is a difference in topology. We have advanced method for topology optimization. We, when we want to change the topology, is that optimization needs a special consideration, but we are working on the mathematics of optimization to be able to solve this problem. And the answer to me is what is the focus of my work is to combine these topology optimization methods with the aircraft design and artificial intelligence. So if we combine these three area, we will be able to directly find the optimum shape, optimum configuration, or in my word, the optimum topology of the next generation of the aircraft. Look at the nature. If you look at the birds, and if you study the evolution of the birds, we can see how they are developed during millions of years until we get the, the configuration of the birds today. This can be an inspiration for human to follow the nature so if we can somehow simulate how nature develops birds in computers and we follow that, we may be able to repeat these millions of years of evolution in few hours or maybe a few days on computers. So we have evolutionary algorithms which is developed already. We can follow this, this evolution of nature and find the optimum of a problem using this, this evolutionary algorithm. So what we have to do is to, to try to simulate the aircraft design as a mathematical problem and apply this evolutionary algorithm to that to try to improve it generation by generation like what nature did to birds. And if you want to do optimization, especially if you want to apply evolutionary algorithms, we have to try many different solutions. That's the job of the evolutionary algorithm. They tried every possible solution and see which one is the, the best one. So to do that, the computational power and development of the high accuracy simulation models is the main problem these days. Fortunately, the computer science is improving day by day. So every day we get better and faster and cheaper computers. So hopefully we can have good enough and powerful enough computers to solve this problem for us in the near future. So if we combine all these different fields to each other, we can design an aircraft totally by the artificial intelligence, by the computer. 
And as I said, this aircraft may look different from the aircraft we already have. So if we can have such an aircraft designed by computer and looks different from the current aircraft, that can be quite a good breakthrough in my field.